Hey everyone, welcome back to Playground Sessions. I'm Phil, and today we're going to be swinging. I'm going to show you a jazz arrangement by Miles Davis, a tune called So What? We're going to be looking at the main theme of that song from our intermediate arrangement, and that sounds a little something like this. One, two, a one, two, set, go. Now there's a bit more to that tune, including a solo section in the advanced level arrangement. Uh, plus way more, all in the Playground Sessions app, so tap the card above to check that out. But let's go ahead and get started breaking down this song, starting with the left hand this time. The left hand has our melody, um, and it doubles the bass line. So we'll start with that, then we'll add the right hand chords. Alright, so first thing we do when we start any new song is we're going to check out a couple things, namely the time signature and the key signature. Key signature, zero sharp, zero flats. Easy enough. Time signature, four, four. But let's talk a little bit about the rhythm. Now, most of the songs we do here in Playground Sessions and here on YouTube happen to use straight eighth notes or even eighth notes. But a lot of times in jazz, we're going to swing our eighth notes, which means the strong beats are normal, but the up beats get shifted to the right. So we'll play one, and two and for normal eighth notes and for swing eighth notes we're going to go one and two and so the and gets shifted to the right of the beat which means the eighth notes that fall on the strong beat are held for longer and the eighth notes that fall on the weak beats or the up beats are held for shorter this kind of gives us a lopsided feel and that's where we get swing now let's talk hand position for the left hand. We're going to start on a low D with our pinky, our fifth finger. We're going to put our two finger on A, our thumb on B. And this is how we start each phrase. Now after the first three eighth notes, we're going to quickly shift positions up a little higher. We're going to bring our third finger over to C, and then we're going to be in this A minor position. So that looks like this. First note, D then A with our two finger, then B with our one finger, then third finger comes over to C, then D with two, E with one, three with C, two on D and five on A. And then we're gonna jump up to play a couple of chords, but we're not gonna worry about that yet. The left hand kind of plays double duty in this song. It doubles the bass line for the melody, and then it jumps up and plays the bottom half of a big chord that both hands play. So we're going to start with the bass line melody. Then we jump up and play two chords. Then back down to the melody again. Okay. So we'll get into that a little bit more detail here in just a minute. But I just want to give you an overview of what the left hand's doing. So the chords that the left hand plays are the same every time. We do them four different times in this segment. And it looks like this. Sounds a little incomplete on its own, but don't forget the right hand eventually is going to be playing the top half of these chords. So we play E and A with our four and one fingers. And then the next two notes of the next chord are already ready to be played by five and two. That's D and G. Okay, so we're down here in a low D position. And we jump up here with four and one to E and A, and then we play with five and two, D and G. Then we jump back down. Slightly different version of that same bass melody, and then we do the same chords again. Third phrase, same as the first. And then of course the same chords again. This time, we're not going all the way down to our D position for the fourth phrase. We're going to start in that A minor position. So thumb right to E. And then a final set of chords. All right, so I'm going to set my metronome to the medium tempo that we have here in Playground Sessions. 
which is 86 beats per minute. And I'm gonna play along at the medium tempo. We're gonna do the bass line, melody, and chords. Melody, chords, back and forth, just like we walked through. Let's do it. A one, two, set, go. Now chords, back down. And chords. Final phrase here. All right, that's it at the medium tempo. So let's try it at full speed, which is 130 BPM. One, two, set, go. Excellent work. So I know that was a lot just for one hand, but we've got the left hand part down. Now all we need to do in the right hand is learn the top of those two chords. So the right hand's pretty easy. Let's focus on the right hand now. And when we look at our sheet music, we see that we've just got a couple of chords and a lot of rests. So during those rests, the left hand is gonna be playing its me bass line melody. And then the right hand, you see every other measure plays those two chords. So let's look at those now. The first chord is by itself, a G major chord in second inversion. And then our next chord is an F major chord in second inversion. And it's the same every time. So one, three, five on D, G, B, above middle C. And then we're gonna keep our two and four fingers where they are and just bring our thumb down. So we'll play one, two, four, on C, F, and A. So let's go ahead and try that at the medium tempo. It's the same every time, so I think you're ready. 86 beats per minute, let's try it. One, two, set, go. Bass line first, now right hand chords. Same thing, two more times. All right, great job. Now let's do it at full tempo, and then we'll put these hands together. One, two, here we go. Nice work. Let's get the left hand back up in the mix and put these hands together. So most of our attention is gonna go to the left hand in this part, right? Right hand plays the same two chords the whole way, and it stays in the same position, other than that thumb moving down. So left hand is gonna be playing the melody down low, and then jumping up to play the bottom half of those chords. So before we look at the whole thing together, let's just play through those chords with both hands. So we've just done the left hand melody, da -da 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 -da. and we jump up, play these chords. So practice that a few times, just on its own. Left hand's gonna be down here and then jump up, then jump back down, and back up. So practice that a handful of times until you're ready. Then let's go ahead and do this at a medium tempo. 86 beats per minute, hands together. Here we go. A one, two, set, go. Nice. So even at a slow tempo, sounds pretty good, right? We're still swinging pretty hard. But when you're done, of course you wanna learn the rest of this song. We take the same theme and we bring it up a whole half step, like this. And then we bring it back down a half step. So it's a pretty cool form when we put it all together. 
So uh, definitely tap the card above if you want to finish out this song and get the most out of what we do here at Playground Sessions. But let's go ahead and do this full tempo and we'll wrap up this video. A one, two, set, go. Nicely done. Well, that's So What by Miles Davis. Give yourselves a round of applause for finishing out this intermediate arrangement. The features you saw on screen today can be at your fingertips with the Playground Sessions app. Co-created by music legend Quincy Jones, Playground teaches the piano with interactive feedback and gaming features, all while using your favorite songs. All right, guys, I'm Phil. Hit subscribe so I can see you for the next video.